section 7.8 applications um, let's do on page 303 oh let's say problem number three problem number three The numerator of a fraction is three less than its denominator If one tenth is added to the fraction, the result is one half. What is a fraction. Okay, so let's do this. So I guess let um, x equal the denominator of the fraction. <coughs> so it says that the numerator of the fraction is 3 less than its denominator if 1 tenth is added to the fraction the result is 1 half let me multiply both sides of my equation by the least common denominator 10x and so the x's cancel and so I get 10x minus 30 plus well the tens cancel so I get x equals 10x divided by 2 is 5x let me combine like terms <clears throat> so 10x plus x is 11x minus 30 equals 5x add 30 to both sides of my equation subtract 5x from both sides of my equation and so I get 6x equals 30 divide both sides of my equation by 6 and so I get x equals 5 and so um, the numerator uh, denominator is 5 But the, uh, so the denominator is 5. The numerator is 3 less than the denominator. So 5 minus 3 is 2 over 5. And so my fraction was 2 fifths. So if you add 1 tenth to 2 fifths, if you add 4 fifths plus, uh, 4 tenths plus uh, 1 tenth, you get indeed 1 half. So, okay, that's correct. Uh, let's do problem number six. The numerator of a fraction is three less. Then the denominator <coughs> if the denominator is added to 
to the numerator. And the, the numerator is subtracted from the denominator the new fraction is 11 over 3 uh, find the fraction Okay, so again, let x be the uh, denominator. Of the fraction. If the numerator is 3 less than denominator, So the numerator is 3 less than denominator. If the denominator is added to the numerator, and the numerator is subtracted from the denominator, the new fraction is 11 over 3. Well, let's simplify this. So let's get rid of the parentheses. So I have here x minus 3 plus x over x minus x plus 3 equals 11 over 3. And so I have here 2x minus 3 over 3 is 11 over 3. And so let's multiply both sides of my equation by 3. And so I get that 2x minus 3 equals 11. Add 3 to both sides of my equation. And so I have that 2x is equal to 14. Divide both sides of my equation by 2. And so I have that x is equal to 7. And so, the denominator is 7, and the numerator is 3 less than the denominator. And so I have 4 over 7. Okay, and so, indeed, the numerator is 3 less than the denominator. And if you add the numerator and denominator, you get 11 uh, for the numerator. If you subtract the numerator from the denominator, 7 minus 4 is 3, you get 11 over 3. Yes, okay, good. So that's the correct answer. Um, let me do problem number 8. The sum of a number and its reciprocal is 37 over 6. No, it's not. Is, I look at the wrong problem, sum of, num sum of a number and its reciprocal is negative 25 over 12. Find the numbers. Okay, so let x be the number. So the sum of a number and its reciprocal, 1 over x, is negative 25 over 12. Let me multiply both sides of my equation by 12x. And so the I get 12x squared plus the x's cancel, plus 12 equals, the 12's cancel, 
negative 25x. Let me add 25x to both sides of my equation so that the right-hand side of my equation is 0. So I get 12x squared plus 25x plus 12 equals 0. So let me do this. Let me factor. And so I get 12x squared plus 16x plus 9x is 25x plus 12. Set each factor equal to 0 since the real numbers have characteristic 0. Subtract 3 from both sides of my equation. And so 4x is equal to negative 3. Divide both sides of your equation by 4. So x equals negative 3 over 4. And uh, subtract 4 from both sides of my equation. Divide by 3. Oops. Divide by 3. And so x is equal to negative 4 over 3. So you can either take x to be uh, negative 3 over 4 and it's reciprocal, negative 4 over 3, or x your number being negative 4 over 3 and the reciprocal is negative 3 over 4. So you have two answers. Uh, one of them and the other one is your reciprocal. Um, let me do problem number 12. Yeah, let me do problem number 12. steamer. Goes uh, downstream. And covers. Uh, the distance. between two locations in four hours. While it covers Uh, the same distance going upstream in five hours. If the speed of the stream is two miles per hour find the speed of the streamer In still water. Okay, so we have some steamer. Yeah, I'll just good enough. <laughs> okay, um, and 
it can there's a stream I guess it's going in this the stream is flowing in that direction okay and so um, it goes downstream in four hours so this way it takes four hours uh, while well, it covers the same distance, so say this is the quote-unquote distance, going upstream, uh, wait, 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 it goes downstream in four hours, and upstream in five hours. So, there, and it goes in five hours the stream is going this way and this stream goes at two miles per hour let's say that the steamer in still water goes x miles per hour therefore when it's traveling with the stream, it's going x plus 2 miles per hour. When it's going against the stream, it's going at x minus 2 miles per hour. Okay. And I have that distance is rate times time. The distances are the same. Therefore, the rate, x plus 2, times the time for should be the same distance as, well, when you go um, upstream, it you go at a rate of x minus 2 miles per hour, it takes you 5 hours. Uh, so let's, um, let's uh, solve for x. So let me multiply the 4 inside the parentheses, 5 inside the parentheses. And so I have here 4x plus 8 equals 5x minus 10. Um, add 10 to both sides of my equation, subtract 4x from both sides of my equation. And so I have here that 18 equals x. And so the steamer goes 18 miles per hour in still water. Okay, uh, let me do... Say problem number... 18, a plane left 30 minutes uh, later than the scheduled time. in order to reach its destination uh, 1500 miles away on schedule It has to increase uh, its speed by 250 miles per hour Oh, from its usual speed. Uh, find its usual speed. Okay. So, 
we have here a plane. Good enough. Okay, so we have a plane and it leaves, it's going between two destinations. It leaves 30 minutes late. Okay. <clears throat> and the distance here is 1,500 miles. Okay. And um, he has to increase his speed. So <clears throat> its usual speed is X miles per hour. So let x go to usual speed in miles per hour. Okay. Um, and so, if you're a half hour, if you're 30 minutes late, then this means you're a half hour late. Okay. Okay, so we have here distance equals rate times time. Therefore, time equals distance over rate. Okay, so it usually takes you, well, let's see. Um, you're usually, well, the distance that you usually travel is 1,500 miles, and you're usually traveling at X miles per hour. Now, you're late, and so you leave a half hour later than normal, okay? Um, but you want to uh, get there on time, and so you still have to go 1,500 miles, but you have to increase your speed. Oh, so an extra 250 miles per hour. Okay. And so you have to, because you're late, you have to increase your speed by 250 miles per hour. Okay, so that you'll uh, be able to make up that. Uh, so, let's see, so this is the usual time. So, your usual time is, you know, so many hours. Here, your speed time has to be a half hour less. So, your usual speed time, uh, the usual time you take is going to be, well, you had a half hour that you uh, left late, plus the time uh, that you're now traveling in the air. And so let me uh, multiply both sides of my equation by um, least common denominator, 2x, hmm, x plus 250. And so the x's cancel. And so I have 2 times 1,500. 3,000 times x plus 250 equals uh, <laughs> the twos cancel. So I have x times x plus 250 plus, well, the x plus 250s cancel. So I have 2 times two, uh, 2x times 1,500 is 3,000 x. Okay, so uh, let me multiply x inside the parentheses, and so I have three thousand x plus seven hundred fifty thousand. Yes, because that's 750,000 equals x squared plus 250x 
plus 3000x. Let me subtract 3000x from both sides of my equation and 750,000 from both sides of my equation. And so I get x squared plus 250x minus 750,000 equals 0. And so let me factor. Bring down the plus times uh, so bring down the plus times minus gives you minus. I want two whole numbers whose product is 750,000 and whose difference is 250. Uh, 1,000 and 750 give you 750,000 and the difference is 250. Set each factor to zero and solve for x. Subtract a thousand from both sides, add seven fifty to both sides. And so x equals negative a thousand or x is equal to seven hundred fifty. Um airplanes don't usually go a thousand miles per hour in reverse. And so uh seven hundred fifty miles per hour which is actually quite fast for an airplane uh, that's supersonic. So it's a, it's a jet, uh, meaning a military jet. Uh, it's, it's actually going quite fast. Let me do problem number 19. If... So hoses A and B together can fill a swimming pool in six hours. If hose A, no, yeah, if hose A uh, alone takes 10 hours, to fill the pool how long? would it take um, hose B to fill the pool? Okay, so let's do this. So the fraction of Build. per hour by now I'll say it this way the fraction of the pool filled by hose A per hour plus the fraction of the pool 
held by holes B per hour should equal the fraction of the pool filled by both holes A and B together per hour. Mm. Let's see if I can erase See if I can erase this. Oh, I was able to do it. Okay, good. Okay, so now let's do this. So the fraction of the pool uh, filled by hose A. Uh, well, hose A can fill the whole uh, pool in 10 hours. Therefore, it can fill one-tenth of it per hour. Uh, the fraction of the hose, well, let's do the other side. Fraction of the pool filled by both hoses A and B together. Well, hoses A and B together can fill the tank, uh, the swimming pool, in a total of six hours. So they can fill one-sixth of it per hour. Suppose that... Uh, hose B takes X hours to fill the tank. Then it can fill, to fill the pool. Then it can fill one-sixth of it per hour. Uh, one over X of it per hour. Uh, let me multiply both sides of my equation by uh, 30X. And so I get here uh, 3X plus 30 equals 5X. Subtract 3x from both sides of my equation. And so I have that 30 equals 2x. Divide both sides of my equation by 2. And so x is equal to 15. So the answer is uh, 15 hours. So it takes hose B 15 hours to uh, fill the pool. Okay, uh, let me do problem number 20. Twenty Chanel and Lisa can finish a job in 12 in 12 days if Chanel uh, can finish the same work in 20 days in how many days Um, can Lisa finish the work? Okay, so we'll do this the exactly the same way we did in the other uh, problem. And so Chanel can finish the uh, whole job uh, in 20 days. So she can do 1 20th of it per day. Uh, I don't know how long it'll take Lisa, so I'll say it takes her X days to complete the job. And so she can do one over X of it per day. And together, Chanel and Lisa can do it in 12 days. So they can do one twelfth of the job per day. We're, of course, assuming that uh, everything is uniform, that uh, the amount of time that it takes for each of them to complete the job is uh, always the same uh, uniformly. Uh, same rate. And so let me do 
let me multiply both sides of my equation by 60x. And so 60x divided by 20 is 3x. 60x divided by x is 60. 60x divided by 12 is 5x. Subtract 3x from both sides of my equation. So 60 equals 2x. Divide by 2. So x is equal to 30. So the answer is it will take her 30 days. Uh, let me do problem number 22. Roosevelt. Can finish a piece of work in 12 days. And manual can finish, can do the same work in 24 days. And how many days? In how many days uh, can the two uh, finish the same work? Okay, so let's do that. And so Roosevelt can finish the job in 12 days, who can do it one twelfth of it per day. Manuel can do it in 24 days, so he can do one twenty-fourth of it per day. And together they can do it in x days, so they can do one over x of it per day. Multiply both sides of my equation by 24x. 24x divided by 12 is 2x. 24x divided by x. Uh, 24x divided by 24 is x. 24x divided by x is 24. So I get 3x is equal to 24. Divide both sides of my equation by 3. And so x is equal to 8. And so they can complete the job working together in 8 days. Okay. Uh, let me do... Problem number 25, Christy, can clean the house in five hours and her father can clean house in four hours Christie's Younger brother Tom can completely miss up 
the house in 10 hours. If Christy and her father clean the house and if Tom plays in the house all at the same time how long will it take to clean the house Okay, so let's see that. So, um, Christy can do it in five hours. So she can complete, she can clean one fifth of the house per hour. Her father can complete, uh, can clean the house in four hours. So he can, com he can clean one fourth of the house per hour. And Tom can unclean the house in 10 hours. And so he can unclean one tenth of it per hour so we sort of remove the cleanliness so I subtract uh, from the cleanliness one tenth of it per hour and um, suppose that altogether it takes them X hours to uh, clean the house so they can do one over X of it per hour and so let me multiply both sides of my equation by the least common denominator uh, 20x. And so 20x divided by 5 is 4x. 20x divided by 4, 5x. 20x divided by uh, 10, 2x. 20x divided by x, 20. And so I get 7 and 4x plus 5x is 9x minus 2x is 7x equals 20. Divide both sides of my equation by 7. And so I get that x is equal to 20 over 7. And so let's divide. Uh, 20 divided by 7, well, that's going to equal 2. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, 2 and 6 sevenths. Okay, and this is in hours, right? It's in hours. So this is 2 hours plus 6 sevenths of an hour. Well, there are 60 minutes in an hour. And so there's 60 minutes in one hour. And so if I multiply by uh, 60, then I'll convert this from the six sevenths from hours to minutes. So let's do that. So if I multiply um, I'll get 360 so I get here two hours so that's 360 over 7 360 over 7 minutes but if I divide that, I'll get 51 
and 3 sevenths minutes. And so this is 21 hours plus 51 minutes plus 3 sevenths of a minute. Okay. Well, again, let's rewrite that. There are 60 seconds in one minute. And so, if I multiply by 60, I'll get 21 hours, 51 minutes, and 180 over 7 seconds. And so this gives me 21 hours, 51 minutes, 180 divided by 7 is 25, oops, and 5 sevenths seconds. So, this is 21 hours, 51 minutes, and 25 and 5 seven seconds. So this is 21 hours, 51 minutes, 25 point seven one four two eight five and then it starts repeating again and so that's another way of writing it okay